Here we go. It's Staycation Sunday time. Welcome back to your Daily Dose, everybody, and welcome to Disney's Old Key West. We're pulling on in. It's 4 o'clock. Room is ready, which I think I'm going to go right to the room right away. Hope you guys are having a good day. Welcome home to you DVC members. I am not one of them. This is a gigantic resort, and uh, this is like the first time I'm actually not staying near the lobby where we check in. We have to go pretty far, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with this journey. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful day we have. Holy camoli sauce. This is it, building number 37. We are only going to be here for one night. I primarily booked actually this staycation for what you guys saw on Wednesday for the, the premier Lightning Lane access. You have to be staying at a deluxe resort. So we're here on Wednesday, even though you guys are seeing this on Sunday for a staycation Sunday. Um, we got, we're gonna take advantage of it for, for one night. One night, and that's okay. Today our room took a little bit longer than any other resort that we've kind of experienced for staycation Sunday. This one was ready at like 3.30, 3.45-ish. So it kind of took pretty much the whole allocated time that they allow for uh, the room to become available. The last hour is 4 p.m. Usually we're lucky and we get a room right away, but it wasn't the case today. And that's okay, because we weren't gonna be here literally tonight. I've been so busy editing that video and I'm ready to relax and chill. We're gonna have dinner here and have a nice, have a nice night. Here's a look at my building, 37. I actually uh, didn't know they uh, have three stories here. I always am in a two-story one. That means we should have elevators in this building. I'm gonna look for elevators, but I, I, I know for a fact that the two-story ones don't have elevators. A few fun facts about Old Key West that maybe you guys know, maybe you don't. It actually opened in December 1991. It was Disney's very, very first vacation club. So they're actually the biggest vacation club rooms on property and Disney kind of learned that, hey, these rooms are kind of big, we're gonna make them smaller. So if you want big, big rooms, they'll have them here. But I will say, these rooms really aren't my favorite on property, especially for a deluxe, even though I believe they did just go through like a refurbishment in 2018-ish. They still a little, are a little bit out of date, especially the deluxe studio that we're gonna say, uh, we're gonna see, however it is big, if you prefer big rooms, this might be it for you. You don't need to be a Vacation Club member to stay here. All right, what is my room number? It's going to be, let me check in the app, 3716. So we're going to be to the left. Maybe we aren't staying in the three-story three one. Let's go find. Let's go find it. It's the best thing to do when you first get to the resort. Finding the room, you know? Tight squeeze here. By the way, in the three-story one, they actually do not have elevators, so that could be an issue. Uh, re re request a ground one. No elevators here, I guess, at the old Key West. We're gonna be right here. 3716. I believe this actually is attached to a two-bedroom room, so this person right here actually has a one-bedroom. I am basically having the studio version of their two bedroom, but they're using it as a one bedroom. So this is gonna be us. Right here, 37, 16, and we might actually have a view of the, the golf course. Let's, uh, let's go check it out. Hopefully our app works here. Is it gonna work? Oh gosh. All right, please. Pretty, pretty please. No. Should work now. Yay. Welcome home, everybody. This smells like a Disney hotel room. We do have a good view. Let me open this. Look at her view. Oh my goodness. We we can watch them tee off. I've never had a... Oh, we're going to do it right now. We're going to do it right now? Pressure. No, he's practicing. And then we have uh, one of the pins. I don't know what hole we're at, but it is kind of cool. Nice lake. It's beautiful weather out, guys. That looks like an okay shot. So let me let me talk about the room a little bit. 
Again, it's not my favorite. It will do. And I feel like I can be picky just because, you know, I, I review these rooms a lot for you guys. So, you know, so you guys know. First of all, as you guys will see, this room still has carpet, even though it was remodeled, I believe, in 2019. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was redone in 2019. I will say, smells really clean, smells really good. You won't find a Murphy bed in these rooms, though. You're going to find two, two queen mattresses. So, um, yeah, looks like you guys will have to do with this. No Murphys, no couches. So that's what I mean by it's not like the normal Disney rooms that we've kind of been seeing here on Disney property. I don't know if you guys like that. You may, you may not. Personally, I just find it okay. It's just not my favorite, you know, and I, I think that's okay. It does do the trick. I believe it is one of the cheaper ones to stay at too if you're looking for a um, like DVC room. These ones usually go for um, not too much, if I'm not mistaken. I forgot how much we paid for this, but I wasn't like, oh, okay, that, that, that's not too bad. But what do you guys think? So here's the TV, nice little desk. Uh, you, you know, it's, 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 it's different. I'll tell you that. Every time I come here, I, I feel the same way, but it, I do appreciate being here and reviewing these for you guys. Little sitting area over there. Now that is going to connect to someone's one bedroom room. It's gonna be a living room and then another bedroom, if I'm not mistaken. So again, we're kind of like in like their, there's two bedroom essentially, but they only got a one bedroom. Hopefully no one's there and they're just listening to me talk right now. And then of course, we're gonna head on into our bathroom, which is right over here. Oh, my bad, before we go in the bathroom, we have our, our sink area and our fridge. This is DVC luxury. Like this is awesome, big fridge, huge refrigerator, garbage, soap, sponge, coffee in the morning, a little bit out of date compared to the Keurigs that they have at the new resorts. Surprised they haven't even upgraded that. Do so you have a toaster, nice touch, sink, Joffrey's coffee. Then we have a lovely microwave. That is a good perk of DVC. Cups, silverware or plasticware. And then we're going to have our bathroom right there, but here's the closet. You can vacuum if you want, they have it in here. <laughs> Storage, hangers, safe. Let me turn that in the bathroom. Bathrooms? Bathroom's pretty fine. I don't really mind it. I used to be really picky about um, the bathroom actually not having a curtain, but I don't really mind curtains anymore. Do you guys remember that way back in the day? A couple years ago when I was just like always talking about curtains and not really enjoying them. Don't really, don't mind them anymore. Lots of space, a lot of space. So if that is what you want, Old Key West, this could, this could be for you. Check out the prices. Definitely feels a lot bigger than the resorts that we have now. It's an interesting old type window. And then of course, bathtub, really low. It's not really, can't really fill the bathtub up too high. Here's the soap, that is different. That is different. At least uh, the different like branding on the outside. I don't think it's H2O anymore because that ended a while ago. Yeah, so that's that's the room everybody. I figured I'd start this one out by, by showing the room. Usually we kind of go and check in, but Obviously, we didn't do that this time. This view is amazing. This view kind of kind of takes the cake. For real. I got to show you the map just to see how far back we are. Let me show you here. Here's where we we drove in and we're all the way here. It, it might not look like it actually, but I don't think I've ever been over here before. There's a pool. I know there's one Ray over here, I've been to that one. And of course the main pool, we'll, we'll check that out a little bit later when we're, we're gonna go eat. But let's check out this half of the resort because I've actually never really explored here. And we're really close to Disney Springs, by the way. Here's Disney Springs. This is gonna be one of like our uh, most chill staycation Sundays. Couldn't you guys just see yourself chilling on this? That's what I'm gonna do right now. We're waiting for Casey to get off of work. Well, I'm gonna go explore a little bit, but this is very peaceful. It's not human out. It's gorgeous. Love it. It's perfect golf weather. We're dining at Olivia's tonight, by the way. Olivia's breakfast, 
Everyone knows about Olivia's breakfast. I think I only had Olivia's dinner like once before, or this might be my first. I eat here so much, guys, it's harder to kind of remember. Um, but if I did eat there, it's obviously not memorable. We'll, we'll experience again tonight. Breakfast is where it's at though. This is actually my first staycation during uh, the race weekend. So here's kind of what they put in here. This is, I've never actually had this before. Never have done a Disney Resort stay while there was a race. So that's a first for me. It won't really affect us too much. It'll be fine. <sighs> However, though, we're at the point of the year where we walk outside and you're not really dripping in sweat. Seems bikes here. That's not mine. Real quick, thank you to everybody who tunes in every single day who allows me to do what I love to do and Living honestly, like this does not feel like a job to me at all, even though I do it every day. I mean, sometimes it catches up and that's when I take a break, but I am just happy to be creating every single day. So thanks guys, thank you so much. I believe last time we stayed here, Casey and I, we rented bikes. Do you guys remember that? And it was raining out. I'm gonna try to get Casey to, to wanna do that tonight. I mean, but she's just been working all day, so we'll see. We might just eat tonight. Wow, that's cool. Honestly, like this was one of my least favorite resorts, but walking around so far, it's it's quite beautiful. I just feel like the rooms, you know, could could use just a little bit of a touch of magic. Looks like we're walking to the village pool. I don't really want to spoil myself for for dinner, obviously. Look at this little palm tree action. Well, not little. I've always wanted a palm tree outside my house growing up. I don't have room for it though. Fortunately, nice buildings. Look at them. I just looked at the map. There's a playground. There's an arcade. There's a pool, obviously, and there's a pool bar. Yeah, sure enough. All right, I'm gonna film as much as I can without uh, disturbing anybody. Pool looks nice. Let's take a look, actually, what they uh, they have to eat here. It smells fast foody. Buttermilk, chicken sandwich, tuna salad, ew, pepperoni pizza, that makes sense. Munchies and more. There's the bar. This is technically the bar. I got some stuff. I just like that you don't have to walk all the way to like the front, you know? Looks like they're about to close, 11.30 to 5.30, so it does look like you'll have to go to Disney Springs or go to the front at Olivia's if you want to eat. We have the bar actually, oh my gosh, the beverage station. Inside looks like the Flying Fish game room. I had to ask, I'm like, wait, oh, there's a sign that says it, so it's in here. Oh, maybe it's not in the game room. This is interesting, I wonder what this used to be. You know, this is like old Disney. And what in the world? Does anybody know what this is? What is this? It's a game. Oh, do you have to hook? Do you have to hook it? I think you do. Yeah, one point per hook, first to 21 wins. Is this the game room? There's no way this is right by the beverage thing. Okay, I gotta investigate. I need water though. Here's a look at the pool. I kind of feel more comfortable filming it from here. There's just a lot of people here. I don't really want to kind of disturb them. Actually, just ran into a couple of you guys from the UK. His name is George. Okay, so the game room is actually right here. They do have restrooms, which is very, very nice. Is this the game room? No, this is laundry. Wait. They do have shuffleboard. People are playing. I don't want to film them. But apparently the game room is somewhere. I think this is the game room. I really feel like that's the game room. Because that was a laundry. Because, you know, studios, they don't have laundry. So you'll find people doing laundry here all the time. That is neat. You can grill out if, if you want. I'm pretty sure where the beverages are, where you can get soda, that was the game room. <laughs> now all the way in the back is the, the playground, which nobody is utilizing here. It's pretty much just all adults. It kind of feels like an adult only pool at the moment, which is very nice. It's quiet and quiet and peaceful. Currently walking in the sand to come on over to the hot tub. They do have a hot tub. It's nice. Don't need it though. Gonna kind of get a better look at the pool area. It's actually really well done. Nice, peaceful. Let's go explore some more. I didn't even know what this looked like back here. Nice. So that's this pool area. Very, very peaceful. I dig it. 
four pools spread throughout the resort, by the way. I believe that's like the second biggest one. I've never done this, so I, I want to film it. Uh, we're just going to check out all the pools real quick. This is one in the boondocks. I honestly feel like I'm in like an old retirement community. It's so quiet. Let's, let's take a look at this pool. I don't really see anybody here at all. Is this open? I think it is. No one's no one's here though. Oh, a couple people are here. There's uh, actually only two people here, but it's like their own private pool. This one's really quiet. I do have a playground over here, but this one actually has like a view. I would like this one, although maybe not right by the pool because it could get loud, but this kind of seems like a quieter pool. Look how beautiful this is. Check this out. You'll see the boats going by. I believe this is the Sasagula River, if I'm not mistaken. That uh, takes you right to Disney Springs. You can go, you can take a boat and it'll take you to Disney Springs if you don't want to take the buses that are going around. You can find a bus stop in every loop, by the way. This is beautiful. Look at that. The more you know, right? I want to check out what's in there. It could be some, I think it's laundry. And they do have some grills here, too. Oh my god, those people are spoiled. They have this whole thing by themselves. Let's go in here real quick. Ooh, I might need to scan my thing. Oh no, we're good. Um, this is actually exactly what the other one looked like, but someone was in here and I didn't film it, so. Laundry, because the room that we're staying in does not have a laundry room. So you can come, come here if you, if you want. And I believe this is going to be, yeah. Uh, if you forgot your laundry detergent, you can buy it. Sweet, right? Let me just take a little peek right there. One more pool to check out. And then obviously the main lobby when, when we go eat. It's just like the one resort I don't know anything about. Now I'm starting to know more about. Last pool here looks to be kind of just a mirror image of the other ones, but I don't think this one actually has a, a playground. Here's what it looks like. Again, there's only like two people here swimming. Don't really want to film them swimming right now, but it's kind of cool how it's just like in the middle of these gigantic buildings. Well, not gigantic, but the rooms. It's pretty neat. See what I mean by it feels like a retirement community? It's just very uh, peaceful. Not crowded. You know what, it's it's kind of like perfect out. So I did come to to the front. It's it's beautiful, it's really peaceful out. Hopefully there's not too many people here, but this is the main center of Old Key West. Well, just the beginning. The lobby, check-in, Olivia's where we'll be eating. Casey will be here soon. And oh, of course, the main pool, duh. And bike rentals if we choose to. Where the magic begins, depending on how you get here. It's where they drop you off. I think I'm gonna go right actually into uh, the gift shop, which is right here. And this will actually lead into Olivia's as well. Cargo and provisions. Will they have Christmas stuff? I don't know. No Christmas yet. Hi. Hi, how's it going? It's going well, cool camera. Thank you. You know, your basic Disney, Disney store. However, like this one's just like really coolly themed, playing old key, we old key West type music, reggae, I think. Fun vibe, they're really friendly in here. They say welcome home, because you know this is DVC. Kingdom Keepers, no way, I used to read these when I was a kid. That's crazy. I was right too, there's not a lot of people here, so that, that's good news for us, so we don't have to bother anybody while we film. Olivia's is over there. I'm gonna save that for later. I'm gonna go outside now. Ooh, what is this? Anybody know the answers of this? <laughs> bell services is located right up here at the front if you, you need to use bell services. Because as you can see, everything's kind of spread out. I would highly recommend it unless you have a car. Check-in's over to the right, which has been restored, renewed for these past couple of years. Halloween activities do we have? 
trick or treat trail. No way, is this today? Just asked. I think the trick or treat's actually um, on Halloween. So actually tomorrow. So we're missing it by a day. But you guys are seeing this on Sunday, so it's well past trick or treat. Quick scan of the area. I'm telling you, we have a perfect day today. Like, it is perfect. That's where we're eating tonight. It's literally like the only place to eat here besides the bar that we saw. And I guess actually they have stuff over here too, my bad. You'll see in a second. This is a first for me. Nobody is in the entire lobby. I remember when I was here when it was like kind of new and there's just so many people here. It's a beautiful lobby, isn't it? It really is. This is kind of growing on my radar now. I feel like because we have such a beautiful day too. And I'm just like, wow, this is all, you know, unbelievable type of a day that we're having. Because every time I've come here, it's like kind of hasn't been the best weather. You can play chess. There's chargers in all these desks. No need to do check-in and we didn't even go there. I had to come here to show you guys this, but man, we're having such a good day. Oh, it's beautiful out. Loving life, loving life. Outside here is gonna be where you can take the boat. Right where they're standing, you can take the boat to Disney Springs if you wish. All right, let's carry on here. Carry on in Abba. <laughs> I really do kind of feel like I'm in the Keys. Last pool, the main pool is the best pool. Do you guys like how big it is? And if you guys are DVC, and you, this is your home base. Let us know down below. What is this called? Oh, it's the bar. Gurglin Suitcase. Is that what this is called? There's no way. Goods food to go. This is gonna be the same food that we saw, actually, I think, before. Looks like it. No, they have BLTs, so it's a little bit different. And then breakfast food, obviously. No one's at this pool either, what the heck? What a day. We gotta go there before it gets busy. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's a bar, there's people in there, so I'm gonna let them do their thing. Bike rentals are actually to the left. I wonder if Casey's gonna wanna do this. This is like the resort to do it. Look at this. <laughs> do you guys remember when Casey and I rented this and it was pouring out? That was a time and a half. But uh, what do you say? Let's go to uh, the main pool. There's the gym. If you wanna do gym activities, go for it. Main pool, which is normally very busy. 10 a.m., 10 p.m. No one's here. This is wild. I don't think I've ever seen the pool like this. It's not even that cold out, honestly. Maybe that's why people don't want to go in. And that is what makes this pool famous. The sandcastle. It's a slide too. However, there's actually a little secret gem at this resort. I believe this is the only place that you can have this on Disney property, the sauna. I don't think any other resort has this included. I mean, there's spas that you can do, but this is only at Old Key West. Isn't that wild? They have a sauna here? Like, it's, like you can actually go in. It's actually a thing. Behind the sandcastle slide, I believe there's a little splash pad for <laughs> splash pad for for kiddos. Yeah, no one's here. <laughs> Didn't really expect anyone to be here either. Oh, it's like a whirlpool. Wait, that's cool. I haven't seen that ever too. They don't have this anywhere else. There's someone at the jungle gym though, but and this is the only splash pad they actually have for kids. Okay, Old Key West is officially dope. Dope freshness. Dope fresh nation, on. There are a total of, I think, three tennis courts. There's one smacked in the middle. Oh, they have pickleball set up too. See what I mean? It's like a retirement paradise. 
<laughs> and pickleball, that's when you know. All right, Casey's on her way from work. We're gonna get all ready for dinner and, and yeah, go to Olivia's, I'm hungry. I just tried to get into the wrong door. Exposing myself there. Look who's here checking out the place. Wednesday for us, Sunday Stay for you. Wednesday. Go pack, go. Go, go pack, go. go. Go pack, go. It's also in real life. It is um, Halloween Eve. So mm -hmm. happy Halloween Eve, even though you're gonna see this after Halloween. Yeah. I guess for you guys, it's Merry Christmas. Yeah, I guess. All right, what do you think of the place? I think that in my mind, this was not where we were. <laughs> going so I was a little bit thrown off at first when I pulled into LQS. I don't know why in my mind I was thinking we were going to Saratoga. Um, I think that's the job. It does the job. This is a pretty big property. I do remember we did the bikes and we got rained out and that was a lot of fun. So I feel like I have good memories here. Do you want to go walk around? Do you want to ride bikes? What do you we want could, to do? We could. Let's at least walk around. Okay, we can walk can around. Ride, you want to ride bikes? We can even go to dinner probably earlier if you're hungry. Dinner is in an hour, so. But I actually went by, no one's there. No one's here. Okay. Like, we can literally go whenever we I want. I think the only reason why I made the reservation for 6.50 is because I thought I was going to be a little later at work today. But it's 5.45 right now, and um, kind of ready. I can eat. 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 Let's and then eat. you know what? We could, we could do biking off camera. You know, we can do some stuff off camera. We do that a lot now. We do. We do. Did you guys see our video when Casey was back? I had, upon filming this video, that video is not even out yet. It was supposed to be out on Wednesday. But I was like, eh, I'm gonna upload that Premiere Pass. I always wanna call it Premium Pass because it's like a premium product. But yeah, Casey's back. I'm back. Yes, I'm all right. Back. I'll um, edit this later. Okay. We did decide to eat a little bit early here in Olivia's. We are hungry, hungry hippos here. If any of your guys' faces are on this wall, I'm super jealous. They can't do them anymore. I think they stopped in 2005. But um, it's so cool. I hope they never change this because all these people are here forever at Disney World. There's nothing like it. Like, I'd love to see these kids this day and age now. They gotta, they gotta reenact this every time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Enjoy your dinner. We shall. What is us? All right. Wherever you want. Thank you. I had You know, I think I'm gonna get conch fritters just because Casey loves when I get seafood, right, baby? Nah, I'm gonna get my shrimp cocktail and then we'll see what we get for the entree. Here's everything they have. Pretty solid menu. I don't remember if I've been here for dinner. I really don't. What are you getting? I got the pork chop. Doesn't this look like, for those who go to Texas Roadhouse, this looks like the Texas Roadhouse steak knife. And we're actually getting some, I think she said pineapple bread. Pineapple bread. Look at that. It's a nice knife. <laughs> this looks exactly, oh, okay. fun fact, Case and I just went to Ahana last night off camera. Forgot, we didn't film that. It was very good. This is a coconut pineapple. The one at Ahana is pineapple and it's so good. I didn't film my bad guys. This is some unbelievable bread. It tastes very similar to Ohana's. Even beats the brown derby rolls. I think the bread might be better here, but the butter at brown derby is amazing because it has a pink Himalayan like salt on top. So if we had that butter with this bread, I would say that this would be a winning combination. We're dining in here and we just noticed there's characters outside. You see Chip and Dale right there? And there's Pluto, so we have three characters here in their Halloween gear. Hey Pluto. Sorry, I was just like secretly just filming you there. You look good. I gotta go eat dinner though, I had to say hi. Yeah, gotta go eat. You're hungry too? Well, come on, let's go. Are you allowed to come in there with me? Uh, uh, uh. No, you can't. All right, I'm gonna go eat. See you later. <laughs> I just. I just caught a glimpse of Chip and Dale and I didn't realize that they were in their Halloween outfits. They look so cute and so themed for Halloween Eve. I got the southernmost buttermilk chicken. I think that's what it's called. 
<laughs> Southern buttermilk. Southernmost? Why did I say southernmost? <laughs> and I got the pork chop. This looks delicious. And of course, shrimp cocktail. It's a Kyle staple. Looks delicious, honestly. By the way, they give you six shrimps. That's a lot. Wow. The pork chop has a ton of flavor. Like, I'm actually generally surprised. Um, Casey and I are both enjoying our meal. It's delicious. She has green beans. I'm jealous. I had one. It tastes good. And of course, we're at Old Key West. We had to get some key lime pie. Casey wanted it, so we're getting it. Well, dinner was good. Everything was good. Actually, ex far exceeded my expectations. See what I mean by this is a retirement community? It's so dead tonight. It's crazy, actually. Well, with that, everybody, I told you this is going to be a different staycation. Casey and I are going to actually go off camera and just, like, enjoy a nice staycation here by ourselves. We'll, maybe we'll watch I don't a know, movie. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know if the bike rec rentals are here. I do know we want to go on a nice walk, watch the sunset, and, yeah, yeah we're just going to chill off camera and I'll edit this like in two three hours or so yeah. and we thank you guys for for tuning in and enjoying this lovely staycation it was kind of like a staycation slash tour in a way um, but yeah thanks for watching thanks for watching guys bye 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 bye